Hey now, Joe Lesky. I play piano, you wanna play piano, let's do this. Can you learn to play piano on an electronic keyboard? I get this question all the time and the answer might surprise you. The short answer is yes. The long answer is a resounding, if mildly conditional, yes. You can absolutely learn to play the piano if you only have an electronic keyboard. However, there are some things we want to think about before making a purchase. Whenever I'm making a difficult decision, I like to make a pros and cons list, so why not do that here? The first pro we want to talk about is that it's significantly cheaper to get a keyboard than a real piano. The keyboard that I use to make these videos, to make recordings, and to practice on costs me between $2,000 and $2,200. The keyboard that I bring to gigs cost me about $600, $650. Compare that to an upright piano, which if you want to get a good one, can range anywhere from $5,000 to $20,000. And baby grand pianos, which go from $10,000 all the way up to $50,000, you can see it's a lot cheaper if you stick with a keyboard. Second thing we want to talk about is that you can control the volume or put on headphones with a keyboard. If you live in an apartment, or if you have family members that you're not looking to have start resenting you, or if you just want to be able to practice in silence away from the outside world, this is a wonderful thing. Next, they take up a lot less space. A basic keyboard on a keyboard stand with a bench hardly takes up any room. And when you're not using it, it's easily storable and you can tuck it away in a corner. Even upright pianos take up a surprising amount of room, and don't even get me started on grands and baby grands. And finally, access to different features such as recording, variety of instrument sounds, and a metronome being built in. One of the coolest things about starting to learn on a keyboard is exploring the different instruments you can switch to in order to make practice or recreation a lot more fun. You can record and use a metronome on your phone these days, but it is handy to have it integrated into the actual keyboard itself. For example, a lot of the times when you're recording on the piano that has the metronome built in, you can make recordings directly on it using the metronome, but on the actual recording you won't be able to hear it. If you were to make a recording using an actual piano trying to record and use the metronome, you would end up hearing the metronome in the recording unless you had it in headphones or something like that. Now it's time to move on to the cons. There's a different feel to the keys in terms of weight, material, and response to how you play. This is very noticeable depending on what model of keyboard you purchase. Some do a great job replicating the touch and texture of a real piano and others, not so much. It all depends on your budget and your knowledge going into the purchase. Next, it's much less aesthetically pleasing. Let's face it, pianos are beautiful instruments. So much so that people often have them in their houses to mostly function as furniture, to my ultimate chagrin. A keyboard can't even come close to the majesty of a real grand piano. And finally, and perhaps most importantly, depending on the model you get, you can develop a strong lack of dynamic contrast. This is perhaps the most valid reason to not get a keyboard if you can afford a real piano. The dynamic contrast you can achieve on a piano is the literal reason it's called a piano. Bartolomeo Cristofori wanted to create a keyboard instrument capable of changing dynamics and named it the pianoforte, which literally means in music, quiet, loud. So, very on the nose. Because you can manually adjust the volume on a keyboard, you can develop a very misleading sense of a dynamic range that can result in you playing drastically differently on a real piano versus a keyboard, not to mention a limit to your capabilities as a performer. So, all of that said, if you have the money, space, and permission to play loudly and unpleasantly at first, then you should defer to getting a real piano. But if you want to learn a wonderful instrument and don't have the budget, square footage, or familial consent, then you are 100% fine learning on a keyboard. The last thing in the world that I would ever want to do is deter you from playing this wonderful instrument. I learned on a keyboard. I didn't get to play the piano, like an actual piano, unless I was at my lessons in fifth and sixth grade. To this day, 2020, I have never owned a real piano. I've only ever practiced on keyboards, whether it be my $650 keyboard I bring to gigs or the keyboard that I use in the videos and for all my recordings. That's what I've had since I started taking piano seriously my freshman year of high school. Now granted, for performances, I would always play on a real piano when I was in school and taking lessons. And when I got to college, it was an all Steinway school, meaning any time I practiced, I was able to play on a real either upright baby grand or full concert grand piano, 
and I'm sure that had a big impact on me and my playing. But if it makes you feel any better, I play piano for a living. Accompanying, performing, musically directing, composing, writing, teaching the piano like I'm doing right now. And I learned on a keyboard. I've only ever practiced on a keyboard except for a very brief stint when I was in college. So I hope this helps you make a decision on whether or not you should start with a piano or a keyboard. And please don't let it deter you from starting to learn just because you can't afford a piano at this time. I didn't let it stop me, I certainly wouldn't want it to stop you. So if you learned something today or liked what you saw, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe so that way you can stay up to date on content I put out moving forward. That said, I've been Joe Lesky, you've been great, and we'll see you next time.